morning, Stonewall. How are you doing this Good morning? Good morning. Ladies, how are you doing? It's Pretty great. Good. It is hump, hump day. day. Just get over the hump. Hump over the lump. Happy Wednesday. You Happy too. Wednesday. Over the Happy lump. Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Well, on Wise Word Wednesday, because it is Wise Word Wednesday, yes. and as you my guys know out there, I had the two very wise. Oh, size more. That's true. It, well, mm. thank you. I don't always feel that way, but I appreciate your belief in me. Yes. I'm Miss Boswell, your school counselor. And I'm Miss Lindsay. And we have the very wonderful and wise. Very wise. Mm -hmm. Mr. Sizemore with CIS. <laughs> I don't know about that. Yes. But yes, you do. We are coming to you from Support You News. And speaking of Wise Word Wednesday, now listen, again, we say this every week, we have a school full of mm -hmm. wise individuals, we but do. we have two individuals who are very wise that want to share some wise thoughts. Yes, today on Wise Word Wednesday, we have Gunner and Samuel. Come on in, Come on guys. In. Say good morning to Stonewall. They might need some coffee for Monday. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy. Can y'all say good Can morning? Can y'all say good morning? All right, we are ready to hear some of your amazing wisdom today. Is it good for us to get started? All right, let's do it, Stonewall Jackson. Okay, on this Wise Word Wednesday, we are going to be reading another story from our book, Character Building Day by Day by Andy Mather and Louise B. Weldon. Are y'all ready? Okay, our story today is called The Portrait. Laura was doing her favorite thing, painting a picture. She had been working on this picture, a portrait of her grandfather, for weeks. She mixed some gray into the blotch of white on her palette so it wasn't so bright. Then she added a couple strokes to the mane of the stallion her grandfather was riding. Its front legs reared into the air. Laura was proud of Grandpa Jess, an important Chippewa Indian leader. He was so good at many things, and he taught the neighborhood kids a lot of them like how to ride horses, how to paint pictures, and even how to play chess. In addition, as a tribal council chief, he had the respect and affection of adults, too. Everyone loved Grandpa Jess. Laura put the finishing touches on a shiny black hoof. Then she backed up and stared at the picture for a long time. She remembered the day the local kids convinced Grandpa Jess to enter the state rodeo, and he won! Laura hoped that she, too, could win a rodeo someday. Her grandfather had taught her to be a pretty good writer. Laura was done with the picture. It was magnificent. So again, we're talking about creativity today, right? Why was the picture so important to her, you think? Do you think of a reason that it might have been important to her? Who was it of? Our grandfather, mm -hmm. right? So do we feel pretty connected to family members typically? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And what did her grandfather do for her and for so many other kids in the neighborhood? He, stuff. Yeah, he taught them lots of cool skills, right? Do you all have any skills like that that a family member has taught you? Skills that you're proud of? Maybe the painting or riding a bike or something like that? Oh, I bet I know one of yours. Swimming. Swimming. Ooh, oh, that's that a great such one, Gunner. Yes. Yeah. I thought they had to play baseball. Playing, Playing baseball. Playing baseball. Yeah, yeah, that's a great Definitely one. Absolutely. Great. So, how did you get started in learning those things? Did you have an interest in them, or was it something that that family member really loved and they wanted to share that love of that thing with you as well? Yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it, so that you can share those things together, whether it's watching baseball or swimming in the summertime together, right, or playing out in the yard, right? Those things that are we, things that we can share together, and their creativity comes alongside of our creativity, and we can be creative together, right? And the cool thing about that process is that when you guys get older, or maybe you do it now with younger siblings, is that you get to start sharing that process mm -hmm. too, so it keeps spiraling in a really positive way, right? 
you get to pass those skills on yeah. your way, which is awesome. That's very cool. Yeah. Good job, guys. What about you, Miss Lindsay? Is there a hmm. skill that maybe you were taught? Well, we talked about this yesterday with the teacher. Singing is one of my very favorite things to do outside of school, um, and it's something that my mom and I share, and she taught me how to play the piano when I was a little girl, and singing, so just music in general is kind of a big part of my family, and something that my mom and I have been able to share since I was very little, um, so that's kind of yeah. a, a special thing for me that we've been able to share. What about you? Absolutely. I go back to um, when I was a little girl, my grandmother owned her own. Um, it was like a floral shop, and mm -hmm. we did weddings and interior design and that kind of thing. But at the early age of eight, nine, my grandmother started teaching me how to tie bows, mm -hmm. decorate, sew, all of those pieces. So those are skills that I love using now, and I love, like, when I need some me time, then I yes. put in, I get into my creative mode. And I think that's wise, guys, you know, uh, that's why we're talking mm -hmm. about this on Wise Word Wednesday, is that outlet. when you're stressed out, does baseball help you? Mm -hmm. When you're stressed out, does swimming help you? Make you feel better, yeah. Yeah, so absolutely. those things that we learn and that have been passed to us and that we pass on are so often the wise things to go to when we need some some personal debriefing mm -hmm. so, absolutely yeah so talk about that today in your class what are some things that were passed down to you all and write about it talk about it we would love to hear from you and those are the things again that you can go to that help you when you're feeling a little out of sorts and a little out of yourself we hope you have a wonderful and wise wednesday guys thank you so much guys for being on the news today mm -hmm. with us have a great day friends Bye.